Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong. I'm the product manager for the editor group in the create stage here at GitLab. And I wanted to show off a new feature that we've got coming out in 13.2 to get 13.2 uh, to GitLab.com and uh, available via a feature flag to self-manage instances. And, um, we'll talk a little bit about why it, why it's buying a feature flag um, search for the end of this, but I wanted to show off the feature first. So I'm gonna share a window here. Um, I'm gonna open up the web IDE. And what I've got is a blank GitLab CI YAML file. And so this is a way to configure GitLab CI to do a variety of things. Um, one of the things that I could do is I could choose a template here uh, that I want to use. So maybe if I want to do a Hugo site, I could do that, paste this in. Um, this is great. That feature's been here. What I want to show you is um, a new sort of real-time feedback and sort of one thing that we've added based on JSON schema. And so what this will do is as I type in this file, you'll notice that I'm getting sort of more autocomplete data than I would have before. This is because we now know about this file and some of the types of properties that you might be doing and how to do those. And so we're, we're getting this autocomplete. One of the other things you'll notice is that currently this isn't valid syntax, right? So I'm getting this underlying, this little squiggly line underneath. If I hover this and come back up to it, Oh, we'll see. Then I get this uh, note on the Y. And so it says the GitLab CI configuration tells me why. Um, we link out to some docs that can help you do this. And we tell you sort of, you know, what the error is and why that's why that's a problem. So um, as I continue to type here, we'll do this. We'll uh, just kind of retype from another window the um, Uh, the pages one for Hugo, just so we can kind of go through some of these. Um, the next one would be like variables. And again, you can see that uh, it provides an autocomplete. It's showing me that currently this is invalid syntax. Uh, again, telling me why. It's telling me that there's sort of two errors here. Uh, we'll go ahead and tab complete through that. You can see it automatically tab completes, drop me down to the next line, um, which is great because then I'm already ready to continue typing. Um, and I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to sort of misspell this um, and then move on, right? And um, that's there was an error. It seems to have gone away, um, which is not okay, but uh, let me fix the typo there. We'll keep going. Uh, we'll do the test one. Uh, you can see it until we put that semicolon or that colon. Uh, it just tells us that these aren't correct yet. Uh, Test, I'll do the script, do Hugo. Uh, say accept master. And if you come back up and if I were to like replace a couple of characters, you'll see I throw errors sort of up the chain here. And so we've seen script now. Um, this used to say script, it's now showing the error saying this property SCPT is not allowed. Um, and then this one is saying that it's missing a property script. And so that sort of helps inform that I should go down here, fix this. I'm just gonna copy the last little, little bit in here. Uh, we'll see that now we've kind of rewritten a completely valid file, but we, along the way, we sort of got that help and feedback that we needed to get through that. And so uh, we're really excited about uh, providing sort of this real-time feedback while you're working on your GitLab CI files inside of the web IDE. Uh, in 13.3, we're going to start looking at supporting custom schemas. So maybe you've got a different file type that's specific to your project or something that you work on that you want to um, define a schema for and then provide some of that feedback and those additional details to help people write those files or contribute to your project. And so we'll be looking at those things. So uh, that's a quick preview of what we've got coming out in 13.2. Uh, again, I said you'll be able to find this on GitLab.com. Uh, we're not going to release this on self-managed by default. And the reason for that is currently the schema file that we're using is coming from a um, popular open source project called Schema Store. It's a third party service that you would make a call out to to retrieve that schema. We didn't want to turn that on by default and self-managed and have self-managed instances make a call to this third party by default. Um, there's an open issue, I'll link it down below the video to have um, a bundled version included inside of GitLab that you could call or um, a gitlab.com at least hosted version of the file so that we could um, reference that. And so that might be the first steps that we take there. Um, I'll link that issue. If there's something that you're interested in, then please you know, leave a comment on that issue, upload it and that'll help us 
decide where we where we can stop that in an upcoming release. So uh, thanks for taking a look. Let us know what you think.